Hey guys, how's it going? This is Dr. Brandroid here, and today I'm going to be showing you how to factory restore your Motorola Moto X 100% back to stock firmware. And we're going to be doing that with the fastboot commands and command prompt, opposed to the RSD Lite way of doing it, which in my opinion isn't quite as effective. So to do this, you're going to need a few things first. You're going to need fastboot and ADB on your computer, and I'll have a link in the description on how to get that set up really easily. You're going to need a file called mfastboot, and I'll have a link to that in the description as well. You're going to need your drivers to your Motorola Moto X installed on your computer before you try to do this, and you're going to need to find the firmware that you want to factory restore to. I'll have a link to those in the description as well. Alright, the first thing you're going to want to do is once you have all these files that you need, you're going to pull open your firmware file, just like this. And once you get inside here, you're going to copy all of these files directly to where you have your fastboot, mfastboot, and adb files. I've already done that, so I will be skipping that step. Once you do that, you're going to want to shift right click into this adb folder. Open a command window here. Alright, and this is going to pull up your ADB prerequisited command prompt. And uh, from there, this is where all the magic happens. So what we're going to do is we're going to type in fastboot devices. Excuse me. Now you're going to need your phone in fastboot mode for this. And as you can see, that it is recognizing that my phone is there. So we're going to go ahead and start doing this. The first code you're going to need to type in into the command prompt is fastboot flash partition gpt.bin press enter and let that go through all right that one's done the next code you're going to want to put in is fastboot flash moto boot space moto boot dot img press enter and let this run through and it should only take a couple seconds all right and once that's done we're going to move on to the next one which is fastboot Slash logo space logo dot b i n. Press enter. On to the next fast boot flash boot space boot dot i m g. Once again, it should only take a couple seconds. Now the next one, we're gonna fast boot flash recovery space recovery dot img now this is the one that might take a little while we're gonna do m fastboot flash system system dot img press enter this one's going to take a little while because this is actually the biggest file that it has to flash to your phone. The reason that I use this method of restoring back to stock is that you can use a program called RSD Lite strictly for Motorola phones to do it, but I don't think it's nearly as I won't say effective, but uh, the word I'm looking for is practical. If you know how to do it this way, then it's just going to be a whole lot easier for you when you don't actually have a Motorola phone, because this method will work with other phones as well. It's just going to differ a little bit. <coughs> so uh, once this goes through, which will actually take between a minute to a minute and a half, then uh, we can move on to the next step. And I'll pause the video and... Okay, as you can see, that finished. So we're going to move on to the next line of code, which is fastboot flash modem. And the modem name for this is N... Oh, capital, sorry. N-O-N dash H-L-O-S dot B-I-N. Let it flash that real fast. Let 
Okay, the next thing we're going to do is reset the modem memory. So we're going to do fast boot, erase modem st1. It would help if I spelled modem right. Now we're going to do the same thing, but this time modem st2. Now we're almost done, so we're going to do fast boot flash fsg space fsg dot mbn alright that one's done and now the next step you can do is to actually wipe all of your user data which uh, I'm gonna do now I'm gonna type fastboot erase user data And after this, we're going to do the same thing, but we're going to wipe the cache folder this time. So just back out user data and replace that with cache. Now, upon doing this, it's still going to pop up with the locked bootloader warning screen when you power your phone on. So I'll also include in the description a link to this file here, which is a no warning style of the latest Motorola Moto X boot animation. So we're going to go ahead and flash that so we'll do fast boot flash logo and this time instead of putting logo dot bin we're gonna type no warning dot bin press enter okay and that will get rid of the locked bootloader warning and replace it with the stock Motorola Moto X boot animation and after that, you're pretty much done. Your bootloader is still going to be locked. Depending on which methods you used, there's not really too much you can do about that. If you unlocked it through the Motorola website, then there's no turning back and locking it, as far as I know. And uh, as far as the other methods go, I'm not really sure what to tell you because I didn't use those methods. I hope this video was informative and it helped you out a little bit. Again, I'll have all the stuff that you need to do this linked in the description and uh, all you're gonna have to do now is fast boot reboot your phone's gonna reboot and you're going to be on 100 percent stock brand new like you open the package and you turned it on and that's where you're at so I hope you enjoyed this video and you guys have a wonderful whatever time of year it is.